Okay, party people. So we've added everything to the track, right? We have all our transitions here. Like I said, we want to fade up from black. We want maybe want to fade to the next shot. You see how steady that camera work is? That's tripod work for you. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's some beautiful work. Look at that. Close-ups, my people. It gets you engaged. You can see tripod work works for you. So, but let's say we wanted to take out a section of something. We It's called lifting out a clip. I just want to take out a little chunk from this, from any of these any of these clips because of whatever reason. First, I'm gonna click on the clip. I'm gonna select the clip with my selection tool. Then in the program monitor, I'm gonna decide, all right, I wanna specify my mark in and out points for this section, mark in. Maybe not. It'll start like right here, mark in, and then mark out right there. And I want that chunk to be lifted out. It's a tiny little section, but I wanna take it out. A lot of you guys ask, how do I get out the cursing? It's very difficult, it's very intricate work, but this is how to do it. So as you can see right here, it'll say, you'll see that you have your, your turquoise area, your marked in and mark out point designated in turquoise. Then you go here where it says lift. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna click that lift button, bow, and a chunk of the, a chunk of the, of the stuff is missing. All right, that's how you take out different sections of audio and or video. You're probably not gonna need to take out chunks like that unless you're, it's probably gonna be more of an audio thing than anything else. But right here, your lift button, it kind of looks like your, it kind of looks like your insert button, but it's on this side of the screen. So that's how you lift out a clip. I'm going to put this one back and we're going to move on.